Were they doing crumb stuff when they died? Yes, they, they were wanted for a murder that was, like, barely murder too, closer to, to manslaughter. And all the stuff was triggered by deputies lying and saying that they were getting the noose for different things to get information. <laughs> like, it was a very rough situation as far as, you know, the whole law or liars and make things up narrative. It's been pushed pretty hard in Cricket's, <laughs> Cricket's perspective, unfortunately. Yeah, because I was on vacation in Canada. Does Cricket have a hit list? No. You got shot. Welcome to day one. She's being pushed down a darker path, but she's not quite super dark yet. <coughs> I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure that out. Kind of depends on who she runs into. <laughs> oh, come on, I hit it so much and then I can't hit it. There, now it's bleeding out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, humble, but you gotta remember, Cricket is not coming from like a an evil backstory, you know.
sort of more lost and survival based. She more of has abandonment issues, you know. Alright, I gotta make sure that I'm driving Elkin insane. I do my best with this. Make sure that I don't go talking <laughs> like Saffron the, the moment uh, someone speaks to me. I work on sounding less chipper. It's nosy because, <laughs> and then you run into rip. Yeah, that that would be something that could trigger. Um, I don't know. I remember when I was first starting it on Holly, and sometimes I get startled or something like that, and I just suddenly go full scythe. I go full scythe when yelling at Peppo, <laughs> and he'd be like, "Holly, Holly, what's wrong with you?" Because <laughs> I said it would like me. How do you do that? You know, go from drawling Southern Holly to, um, you know. Shock Jack stopped talking long enough to catch it. Oh no. Holly and Jack had some huge, huge discussions back in the day. They usually involved Holly begging him not to do something insane while he laughed and mocked her about it and then still went and did the insane thing even though she was literally like crying and begging him not to. And then he wonders why she shot him in the back six times. I somehow slip into the Michael Caine voice when I talk to family sometimes. They just look at me like you're crazy. You go around impersonating Michael Caine a lot? <laughs> yeah, and did you, did you mean Stuart? <laughs> nice. I'd love to see someone doing a Jimmy Stewart deputy. That would just be prime. I don't think I could I could really pull off that transatlantic old timey accent. I think uh, Tassara kind of does it with Ripley. Like this this horse kind of reminds me of like a skeleton because the way that 
that stripe of white goes down the back leg. As I understand, Ripley is partially based off of Captain Janeway uh, in the Star Trek series. Like, all our horses are named something super Star Trek y, like Chakotay. Um. Probably named after Ripley and Alien, too. Ooh. Oh, this one, this one makes me right up. Alright. Howdy. Uh, good day. Well, howdy. I don't even want to read that. Voyager, yeah, I... I, I like Voyager a lot. The rain does get a bit colder in these parts, uh, on it, at least, uh, from the fire from the swamp, so it is. Oh, yeah, totally different kind of weather. Something about air, it's a bit too, uh, very thin. Yeah, that is true. It feels almost like, uh, you can drink the air. Noticed, man. Uh, listen, it, not like straight up like robbing people at gunpoint is what I mean, folk. She needs food. There's this this grate is full of food. <laughs> Girls gotta eat. I'll leave some anons. Earlier, guys, <laughs> when when Rip asked, when Rip asked, do you remember that time you spoke to Cash after you got kidnapped? I was like, 
which time are you referring to? You're gonna have to be more specific. Uh... Actually, the same thing happened last night. Boyd came up to talk to me. And he's like, you know, so you're right? <laughs> After what happened the other night. And <laughs> I was like, what? No, it's fine. I was like, wait, you mean after Boone's boys? He goes, no, the other, with the, the, the shooting and the telegraph. Oh. You have to be more specific than the other night when asking if I'm okay. What's that crap? When he said he would have shot Boyd in the face, I just didn't get around. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Oh, nice. Definitely. That's. Okay, we're back in business. Although, I, you know what? You know what we need? We need torches. We need multiple torches. And I want to try something with the torches. I want to show you guys. So we do need to do a little bit of light mining. That's That'll give us some RP, asking people where we can go mining. Hmm, I don't know, a, a part of, part of, um, for ma maturation, I'm wondering if I need to switch to, like, boots, or at least pants that go all the way down. I don't know, I'm trying, I'm still trying to decide what looks good, because we have this long coat going on. I don't know if I should switch to a short coat. I don't really have a lot of money for experimentation as far as outfits go. I have $29.15. So let's... Nothing we can slash storage in here. This is the only building that you could inside. Share of cricket. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. Share of cricket of limpany.
Weird sound effects? Hello, hello. Miss, stop running. Man, there's an escape crossing ship. What do you want? What do you stop want? Running. What do you want? I just wanted to know who was here. Yeah. I haven't done anything. You don't have to kill me. We're oh. not here to kill you. What? What is this about? What? I'm not here to hurt you. <laughs> right, I'm sure. Hey now, we're not here to kill anybody. We just we were coming to do some what do you training want? and we saw somebody was here. We we literally just came up here to do some training. And we wanted to know who was here. Make sure everything was okay. Before we, yeah, we came just, up here and started doing our anybody. training. Right. We don't have any guns out, no nothing. We just saw you run out the back. We just followed after because, you know, running tends to look like something else for some folks. So we just wanted to check in. What's your name there, miss? Does it matter? I haven't done anything. You don't need to know my name. You know what evil spelled backwards is? Yep. Yeah, look at that. Look at me go. E V I L E. They're just here to shoot up oh, Cricket's uh, home. Live. Okay. <laughs> I just ruined their yeah, training we'll plan. Paint the sky. All right. Just wanted to let you know, ma'am. We're not, you know, not wanting to bother you. We're going to head on to a different place. You take care, all right? Right. Sorry for the confusion. Aw, her's Painted so nice. <laughs> Beautiful. We're going to go right up. Yes, just across the river here. Up on the hill. Little property up there. Careful of wolves. If you see wolves, you can shoot. Just don't shoot each other. Please be careful. A lot of us here. Oh, scalloped potatoes would be so good. Two's all the way back. There we go. One, two's all the way back. Off all the law, the boss. <laughs> I thought I heard. I thought I had heard a huge like thundering.
a stock list. <laughs> I'll just leave that in there. Tandoori. Tandoori chicken times 10. Garlic naan times 15. Aloo tiki potato curry times 10. Delivered 11 p.m. Flour and tandoori fingerprints all over page. <laughs> Why do they... Yeah. Okay. Garlic naan bread roll. Ooh, tandoori cooked poultry with oregano. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I got the good stuff, man. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think I'll carry that around. Tandoori cooked poultry. Though. Yeah, I'll carry that around. Poor deputies. I hate being mean to them. I had to like pull the silent. Ah, oh, because cricket doesn't cricket doesn't know how to respond to them right now. I hate her. Okay, her inventory. It's just it's just gonna be chaos. There's no right. I that has to stay there. Okay. Yeah. No, she was brutally treated. I mean. Multiple times just being okay. I can't, I can't handle this. Can't. Ah, okay. Stop looking at your inventory. Yeah, she she was treated so brutally. I mean, twice rifle butted or pistol whipped unconscious as like a punishment when she wasn't actually doing anything like she wasn't being combative like that's that's pretty serious stuff man ah you know what? i'm going to leave some, some details there I really hope that bartender saw us run out with the box. I feel like Cricket and Cyrus could have, would have been friends, especially being swearers. <laughs> Aw! Yeah. Would have been adorable in a creepy kind of way, considering Cy Cyrus was actually crazy. You know what? Actually, that is something that we could maybe do is want to kidnap some deputies and tell them what was done and how stuff was escalated, but jail, quote unquote, jail them over there. <laughs> uh, we'd only get away with it once, though. But I don't think, I don't think she'd be bold enough to do that on her own. However, I do think that who you guys hope will look for Cricket will probably try and look for Cricket. Bullets.
Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what actually happens, but... I have a feeling. Yep, Cricket got introduced to Thorn by Allie in Annisburg. And actually, I think that is something Cricket's going to do, is actively seek her out, knowing that she was a friend of Allie's. So that gives us a reason to go up to Annisburg, Van Horn, and talk to some people, maybe. See what happens. That's our goal. We've 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 established some goals. I don't know if Cricket would... I still remember the one time I mentioned Cricket joined Thorny left at me. I don't know if he'll be joining. I just... Definitely an interaction or two. But it, it depends on... How things go, you know? I'm open to pretty much anything happening with Cricket. Because she needs, she needs a hook. She needs something. Um, I know and I have ways I could end her story. And I've chosen not to take that path so far yet but I like characters like this that are very open and have the potential to be pulled into something bigger um yeah even a potential temporary team out would be interesting yeah because it's possible that a meeting with Thorn could say stoke the fires of revenge that tends to be Thorn's style. I like this horse. A pretty horse. I get die. You're not a How are you? You're not a deputy, are you? Me? Fuck no. Wondering if you happen to know where any mines are that I can get planted. Oh, mines? Oh yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, there's one right in the Big Valley region. Uh, another fake if Aussie. you look where Little Creek River is. I. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, you see uh, where the bitch butcher block might be marked on your tourist map? Just a little bit northwest of that, you see like a little bit of a C shape in the mountainside. I believe that's where you can find a cave. You can do some mining there. Or you can go all the way down to fucking New Austin. And you can go to Gaptooth Ridge or I'll buy Bumblebee. And there's a mining town down there, Gaptooth Mine. Those are the ones I know about. Unless you want to fucking make a lot of your money, and then you can go to Innisbeg. I just need some flint. Uh, I reckon flint you could probably get from Innisburg or Gaptooth. I've never actually mined at the one in Big Valley, so I couldn't tell you. Okay. Alright, thank you. You know what? Well, there's a reason to head towards Innisburg. With a, a, a VoIP connection like that, he might actually be Aussie. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. <gasps> he, he might. I I don't know if um. I, I mean, I, it's not like I could I could actually judge the quality of an accent. But to me, he sounds more like someone who might be faking it. But I could, it could just be a different. Uh, I was thinking Saint Denis if we wanted to look and see if anybody fit the description of this thing we're looking at. Type of accent. Um. Who knows. Thank you. Are you ready? Just one moment. All right. Uh-oh. Uh, it is KX331, so Killa X-Ray 331. Excellent. We'll send you... Telegram. Well, well, either of you legitimate. What is legitimate. that? Legitimate. Legitimate? Yeah, can you read? Oh. Oh, yes, yes, I can. <laughs> uh, literate, yes. <laughs> what do you need? I need someone to read my telegram to me. Yeah, sure. Have you got a copy? Yeah, I, I do. Oh my goodness. Right. I know what I'm going to ask her, and this is the perfect person to ask! <laughs> Alright, thank you. Let's see. Um, from Chester, uh, title is Are You Okay? Message says, Hey, me and Alvin couldn't end up making the funeral. We said our goodbyes today, but I was worried about you. Are you alright? You was in Sisica for a while. I don't want you to think we abandoned you. You're our friend, and we have your back no matter what, okay? We are planning on doing our job tomorrow. Tell me if you're interested. Your friend, Chester. So whoever is reading this to Cricket, tell her her friends love her. Your friends love you. Um. Thank you. I was. Uh, You're welcome. Gonna ask if you didn't mind sending a telegram to them. Yeah, on sure. Yeah, of course. You're Cricket, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm yeah, on. I can give you. <laughs> Don't pay me. Well, I can give you money for the, the telegram person. I just, I'm not good at... All right, sure. All right, just, um, I need the telegram uh, so you can give me the number. Y oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you again. The Australian Bella around here. Have you? Oh, uh, there was one... Also, hi, Hummingbird. There was one hi, in, the, in the saloon. In the saloon? Ah, oh, uh -huh. of course, he's fucking in the... Thank you! Also, guys, I called it he as a fake put Aussie. A return telegram <laughs> number. Uh, uh, let me let me show you another sure. one. 
I, was that from Chester from from Alvin? Uh, Chester. Chester. Okay. Um, oh, his has is easy. It's uh, TB one one one. Okay, what would you like me to write? I tell them that I survived, if only just, and that um, I need to know if they remember that lady that we spoke to up in Innisburg a few weeks ago. I uh, name uh, if if you remember Thorn and if they know her telegram, and if they can give it to me. This is so perfect. It's something weird. <laughs> Anything else? Um. That I I, I said goodbye to Ellie and Toby for that. I know. Couldn't have found a better person than Hummingbird for this. Honestly. Can you read it back to me before you send it, just so I know? Yeah, sure. Um, I survived, if only just, and I need to know if you remember that lady we spoke to in Annisburg about three months ago? No, just just a few weeks ago. I think her name was Thorn. A few weeks ago, named Thorn, and if you can give it to me, if you can give me her telegram. Yes, if they have it. They know where I can find her. I said goodbye to Ali and Toby for you. Is there anything else? No, that's it. She's, she's not telling. Not giving any tells here. <laughs> and no, I I was just gonna ask whoever was in here. It's just pure luck. Okay. That it's and that is for you. I have this woman's telegram number if you want it. Why? Wait, you do? Mm-hmm. Can um, I have it? Because we left. Yeah, sure. That's why. Um, because we left. I need a... Oh, it's getting way too crowded in here. Give me one second. Well, we left for good reason. Interesting. We left for good... Oh, sorry. Interesting we left for that she would that just doesn't... offer that to me. That's super interesting. Okay. Sorry. There's a lot of people. That's right. There. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can give it to you, but I need to know where Ali and Toby are buried. Buried up above Blackwater. Um. Okay. You know who? You know where they the, the doing all the building there? Yeah. Up the hill from there, there's a tree that stands out, sort of on a on the point, and it's under there. Okay. I know that tree. Thank you. Would you like me to send it to you in a telegram where I can write down for you and you can... How would you like me to give this to you? Oh, uh, yeah, if you could send it to me. Ram, that, that would be good. Sure. I, I can read off mine now. So, KW617. Ah, I'm probably driving her crazy because she's an actual Aussie. Super interesting that she would help contact Thorn. <coughs> okay. So yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Please don't hurt her. Okay. Very interesting. I knew Allie, and I'm sorry for your loss. 
No, that's 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 the right thorn. <laughs> that's the right thorn. <sighs> Thank you. Which thorn and cricket wouldn't know there's two. You know, I want to carry that around because that's mm, that's really interesting. Hey, Susa. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Susa is a fairly new wild RPer. I uh, encountered them last night. Helped them with some technical which button to push issues. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> no problem anytime, Sousa. I'm very curious if other players can see when you drop a torch. Like if they see it sitting there burning or not. I'd imagine they could, but sometimes stuff, you know, is funky. I would, I would mess with McGregor and stuff as Scythe. You know, I, I split a bunch of wheat in my inventory and then ride past him just throwing him out. You know that autograph rock is a real thing I recently found out? What autograph rock? What are you talking about? This is something I mentioned and I forgot because I have goldfish brain. Is it something in the game? Like in the base game? Huh, no, I don't know about any autograph rock. But yeah, guys, the Aussie in the saloon um, was Misfit his, on his character Atlas, who was one of the wild cards. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and that is why I was correct in identifying. You know, I think what it was was he just sounded a bit nasally, and that's how I feel I sound when I've not warmed up yet in the Aussie. I feel like I go really nasal. Inch it off. Weird. <sighs> That's funny. Hey, Planet. Good morning.
This would also be a potentially good cricket home. Kind of wanted the interior of the cells in Limpinay, but I mean, I guess I still could. Uh, just because there's actually a roof over it. Look, there's a place for a fire. Place for meetings. Just wish there were more rooms in this place. Like actual rooms. Yeah, instead of it just being boarded up. I know, it'd be nice if you could go right through there. Can you get on the upper balcony? I think you can, but it's like weird. And then there's like. There's like a weird basement kind of under porch section that you can't get into right there. Yeah, there's stairs right here. Even so, no access into any of the rooms. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Like there should be another set of stairs going to another part. Cause like this is a lot bigger than that basement is at all. So I guess this is just an under under the house bit and it, it genuinely has no purpose. Yeah, there's not even a door into this space. What is this? What is this? Cage. It's not, there's no way into it. Oops. Major design error, that's what it is. Lazy, lazy designing is what it is. Above ground septic tank, so a cesspool. This pit. Lovely. Smelled just about as good as Van Horn. Honestly, the top of the lighthouse would be an excellent cricket place to just light a fire. I, I want to. You probably can't light a fire. Let's see if we can light a fire up there. It's daylight, but um, this would get us in trouble. But I don't care. And I mean tr trouble with like summer's gang types. But <laughs> Cricket doesn't, wouldn't really know or care. <laughs> and before yelled at for snooping again, I know, right? Look at this place. I could never go on any other character, really. I love this lighthouse. It's so ambient. There's probably two inside city limits to pitch a fire at. <laughs> oh, aw. It'd be so good though. this stuff being the good stuff. Yep. Proper English gin. 
It like restores a lot of your energy if you take it. Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't in cap. Stupid ladder. Have any bandages? Yeah, we're not going to talk about it. Oh, this absolutely fits Cricket's aesthetic. Another burned out sheriff's office. This is uh, canonically where Cyrus slept. This is canonically Cyrus's room right there. Absolutely, actually, it's tempting to move cricket here for this that reason oh nice it's non-drunk making whiskey and there's like there's active fires in this place she'd definitely be more a up here type of person I love this. Looks like the houseboats. I can't remember if you can get into these ones here. I know you can get into one that's in the swamp. I'm not sure how much I want to get back into cry Crim becomes Sheriff of Van Horn. Nah, the, the NPCs still freak out and have shootouts. Oh, you can't get in there. The top is nice, though. Look at this. You probably can't lay on this, though. But you should be able to. But you can't. Aww. Hard would it have been for them to just make some more little interiors? Come on. Becomes Sheriff of Van Horn. <laughs> Man. Good place place to RP living.
afraid of getting mayored. Don't look for flint? Yeah. We're coming here to get some flint. Didn't see anyone in Van Horn to ask uh, if they'd seen Thorn around. Ooh. 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 There's like tons and tons of dynamite in here too. Like stupid amounts. I don't want to actually mine anywhere near uh, places where there is barrels because, uh, <laughs> you know, if someone else comes in and does exactly what I was just doing. Although this is kind of brutal to sit here and mine in front of you guys, so I'll just get like We'll torture ourselves for like five. <laughs> Shavis. I love minor RP. Give us a mining song. What's, <coughs> what's a mining song? <coughs> this isn't even mining at this point. This is just, I mean, RP at this point is just resource gathering. Dude, I'm not good enough at anything to do that.
I'm like, I'm already, like, I can't even, I can't even attempt. No? Yeah, I'm I'm I, I I'm not that kind of person. Paper bags. Sometimes spontaneously, but never like do this thing. I, I just I just can't do it. Can't. When I'm driving alone in my car on my own, why am I getting so much freaking coal? This has never been the mine that gives you coal. It's always been the mine that's supposed to be a coal mine, but all you get is flint. And that's been my experience every other time I've been in here, except for now, when I need flint, am I gonna get flint? No, I'm gonna get coal. Yep. Cause that's the way things work out for me. The Ratlin bog? <laughs> no. No, please, no. Please, no. Please don't. <laughs> the amount of times that I've had to listen to, um... You know. Uh... Our wonderful friend, who we love, Derek on Zhongwei. Maybe, maybe. Some. <laughs> that song, that's real emotional damage! mining and it's so much fun and we love mining because it's so much fun to mine right There, I made you up a song. Aren't you happy? Okay. Okay. Okay.
I hope I snow white and the seven dwarves. We dig, 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 dig in our mind the whole day through to dig, 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 dig is what we really like to do. What? Just saying the word dig, 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 over and over and over again. What's not a pepper? You know. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work we go. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> With the other music going on in the back, yeah. <laughs> if someone clip this and add auto tune. I like the metal vision of Diggy Diggy Hole a lot more. Oh man, that reminds me. So my dad just thinks that Baby Shark is fantastic because my my little nephew likes the Baby Shark song. And so he went and downloaded like a bunch of different versions of Baby Shark sh song. Like we're talking about rap versions, metal versions, uh, reggae versions, stuff like that. Some of them... Some of them slap a little bit, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm not like everybody else with that song. That song doesn't get stuck in my head. I, it, it just doesn't. <laughs> oh. Pretty funny though. But he loves, he loves the baby shark song. I bought him a big shark plush. That one is not the worst of kid songs. Mining do 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 mining do 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 do. <laughs> Got a mine do 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 do. Got a mine do 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 do. <laughs> <clears throat> this is my favorite stream. <laughs> I'm, I'm, tr I'm just trying to get like five flint, man. Although I'm halfway to a hundred dollar load of coal at this point, so I, you know, I might as well just keep going. <clears throat> yeah, will will Disney jump all over and mute my stream if I if I sing Disney songs on here? Will that happen? How how advanced are their evil algorithms? What is with all this coal? I'm probably not warmed up. <clears throat> warmed up enough into it, but I've definitely sang Let It Go before and actually been not horrible at hitting the notes. Yeah, but it's, it's been a while. It's kind of one of those songs where you you gotta yell when you sing it. At least that's the way I feel. I feel like it's hard to do it any other way. The coal never bothered me anyway. <laughs> okay, we need we need some mining, some cricket related let it go lyrics. <laughs> Nah, if we change the lyrics, DMCA can't happen. It just can't. Significantly. So. It's funny how some Siska makes everything look cool. I, I don't know what else we would go off. I'm never going back. The past is in the past. <laughs> we just re re 
rewrite re I can't even talk. Rewrite it with with cricket cricket relevant lyrics. <laughs> With mining in Sissica. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. <laughs> Let it burn, let it burn, let it rise, let the ash, ash rise to the sky. I don't know. There's something there, right? <laughs> yeah, you could just totally turn it from Ice Queen to Fire Queen in some way. This is like the anti-Elsa here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look up exactly what a vocal flip is. Because I feel like what I did was I hit the end of my range and so I changed what I was doing so I could still... <laughs> can, you, can you fit in the lyrics? You don't need to kill me. <laughs> They're just instantly, whoa, whoa, whoa! Who said anything about killing you? <laughs> the vocal flip is like a break in the voice to a different key. Okay, see, whenever I do that, I just feel like I failed at whatever I'm doing. Okay, new project. We need this thing as a song for Cricket. Make Cricket song. Uh, listen, if you guys put together the lyrics, sure, I will. I will perform it. Okay. I'll even. I'll even. I'll even like perform it as Cricket. Okay. I'm never going back. The past is in the past. I can I can sing a little bit Aussie. I mean, I've been I I grew up listening to an Aussie band, and I, a lot of the songs that I sing from them these days are sort of have a bit of an Aussie twang to them anyway. So yeah. <sighs> Is there any possibility of Cricket becoming an entertainer, real talk? <laughs> Newsboys, folk. Shine. Make them wonder what you got. Make them wish that they were not. On the outside looking bored. <laughs> back when, back when, back when Newsboys was good. <clears throat> Back when they were good and had a completely new sound every album. How is Cricket not dead yet? What do you mean, Jack? Fire Dancer Cricket. No, because uh, Paper Bags, I just... <laughs> I would not enjoy entertainer RP like that. Entertaining angels by the light of my TV screen 24-7. You wait for me. Yeah, I, I believe me, folk. You, you can't even mention a lyric without triggering an entire song. <laughs> I 
There was entertaining RP. I miss it. What if you turned a questioning into a musical number and it ends with them just letting you go because you won their hearts? I don't think that would happen. Oh no. But like the old West and bar fights. Yeah, I'd like some some bar fights. I, you know, if we, if we get into like a bar on the bells and just start messing with people and then just, just start beating the snot out of it, that'd be pretty fun. It'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I'm just, you're not all too bored right now, are you? forgot this existed. I don't even know what this is, but I like it. I do have to say, I think that it's pretty funny that each time there's been like a circus comes through town, it's not it's not just, you know, a normal circus. It's got to be like, this is a group of criminals and they're doing really, really sketchy stuff, like killing people in front of an audience and calling it entertainment. <laughs> yeah, funky. I think that's what it is, folk. Some funk stuff is fun. But I think that's what I've said before, right? Is I'm not hung up on any particular style of music. I can appreciate most styles. Just, you know, the individual songs. Maybe not the, ja the, the genre as a whole.
that you just really like it and enjoy it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> I hate how knives always disappear in your gun belt, man. Drives me insane. rarely ever hit. Oh yeah, this is good too. More funky things, I think. Gear, I might have got you in trouble. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't, 
Don't worry about it, O'Neill. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Someone's DMing me, trying to bully me. <clears throat> and Big Ear, is, Big Ear is on top of things regarding that. You're gonna yell that? <laughs> he says confirmed already in my chat. I said he said Bagheera, and I said I will neither confirm nor deny. You had a one in five chance of getting it right, and he said confirmed already in my chat. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna watch whatever this clip is that that was sent. <clears throat> Goodness. <laughs> Do we need to ban something? No, it's 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 Cronus. It's Cronus being. Ah. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna perma his today, chat. Well, I guess I'm gonna perma his today, chat. So he sent it. He sent it like that. Okay. Let's see what else did? What else? Let me see the other one. Hey, chat. Can someone do me a favor and clip the following? Like, cut off this part where I'm telling you to clip it. And just ah. and just clip the next, you know, maybe fifteen seconds. All right. So when I say go, wait a second after, and then clip it. All right. What a butthead. Right. <gasps> go. Well, I guess I'm gonna perma his today, chat. Wow. And clip. End the clip before I say in clip. Hey Jack, can someone do me a favor and clip? Why is he such a punk? What what did I do to deserve that? I don't think I did anything to deserve that. But you know what? He's he's gonna, he's gonna get out one of these. Huh? Do you think that I could make my uh hmm. I mean, Seth kind of ruined Connor's Batman LARP! <laughs> oh, I nearly passed out! <laughs> I ruined his Batman LARP and I told him not to poison himself! Ugh! <laughs> and then I proceeded to laugh about it. Just... You bullying Connor, Bagheera? Listen, we can't, we can't, we can't bully him too badly. <coughs> <coughs> I ruined his Batman LARP. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. I'm 
sorry that I was being a good girlfriend, okay? <clears throat> I just... <clears throat> Why do I do my voice so low? I need to fix voice. <clears throat> I've been on this for so long, knowing he was planning that kind of thing. I think I heard- ooh, look at that! Look at that! We're, we don't need to do this anymore, guys. We're good. We, we Gucci. That one bullet. We, we need to shoot something. Hang on. Find more dynamite. <clears throat> Holding any comment I had about how stupid Rip's reasoning was. Well, I mean, he's trying to figure out a way to resolve saffron stuff right and it's it's cool edgy fun rp and a, and a reason to inflict suffering on his character also um so technically i metaguarded his rp i'm allowed to poke fun at it this is what it, okay okay let's look at this <clears throat> let it burn Fire burns bright in the cave tonight, not a lawman to be seen. A kingdom of isolation, and it looks like I'm the queen. The flames are twisting like the swelling storm inside. Couldn't keep it in, hell knows I've tried. Don't let them in, don't let them see. Be the firebug you always have to be. <laughs> Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. Well, now they know. Can't sing this. Let it, <clears throat> let it burn, let it burn. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it burn, let it burn. And away at Santa Kate. <laughs> I don't. I can't. I cannot do that right now. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't care what they're going to say. Let the storm rage on. <laughs> I can't do it. There you go, just head voice. I hate doing that, though. I feel like it just... When it goes that falsetto we, I feel like it sounds... bad. It's funny how some lines make everything seem tall And the law that once controlled me It's not your lyrics, it's, it's my ability. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I it's like <coughs> It's like almost like forcing range that isn't there. I don't know. That's the best way I can describe how it feels. But I feel like that song goes from straight up yelling to to just Angular is famous for it, and when she can hit the highs, she really does fully. <coughs> I feel, uh, yeah, um, someone was surprised I could get the highs and the wind that shakes the barley, but it does. I, I slip and I, I have to push it into like a head voice. I just feel like it's so dramatically different in volume. And tone. Yeah. Let the fra flame rage on. That would work. Uh. 
No, it's. A, I mean, it's a good start. I mean, it's totally something I could work on too. I just, it's funny. It is, but not on a microphone. Yeah, I guess it kind of the microphone compensates for a lot of stuff. Let's uh, let's take this coal. Oh, singers have their tricks. Basically, what you're saying is quit trying to sound like a recorded finished track when you're just singing. <laughs> I'm also probably not sufficiently warmed up for what I'm trying to do with that. I feel like that's a song the kind of song it is, you need to warm up for it pretty dramatically, and I don't know how to warm up. Alright. Oh, actually, I'm gonna carry that. I think Hummingbird kept our telegram. Fine. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to put a lot of work into it, I feel like. <clears throat> know what I do to warm up. I know, I know some things are really, it, it's, I've heard there's like, just sitting there, mm, humming is supposed to, I know I tried it a bit, and I was, I was like, are you humming really low? I'm like, ah? Yeah, I was just like, what's, there's this hor, there's this horrible humming sound in here. I can't figure out where it's coming from. <laughs> I was sitting there doing really low humming, because, I, I read about something for warming up vocal stuff <laughs> or strengthening something. I can't remember. Absolutely is humble. I mean, it, it, it can't not be. It, it helps loosen anything, and if there's swelling, <sighs> I don't know. For instance, when I was trekking through the Himalayas, I had a bad case of bronchitis. I couldn't talk. I could, I could squeak. I could squeak. I could whisper, and I could squeak. I couldn't talk, cause, cause it had screwed me up so bad. But if I had, if I had like two or three cups of hot water or tea, I could start to speak in a low tone. But I, I, I mean, we're, we're talking about literally incapable of speech to being able to talk because I drink hot water.
and one thought combusts like a fiery blast, never going back. Yeah, milky sugary or anything that will stick to your throat. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Milky and sugary stuff. I can I can feel it. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, when I've done stuff where I've had to sing in real life, especially cuz I had I had a cough and like a cold, I made sure to drink just straight up hot water or or an unsweetened tea. Horse getting away? Yes, he is. Oh yeah, I remember gargling salt water in Nepal and gagging and <laughs> I, I, I'm awful.
see. All right, got about half an hour to do stuff on Cricket before I said I'd be back checking telegrams on Saffron. No, wait, I said 2 a.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did say 2 a.m. EST. half an hour. person's holding a dead deer and it, it just looks like it's alive to me right now. Wait, what are you laughing about so hard, figure? Messing with Connor? Nope, that deer is... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's carrying it. Connor, you're like... <laughs> we have an imposter in chat? I'll have to watch him berate you. <laughs> oh, but. Like, I, you know, I guess, I guess the old adage is, is true, right? We, we bully Connor because we like him. Oh, I got a full villain. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, that. Okay. Connor's villain monologues are legit and a little bit actually scary. <laughs> he's, he's, he does I'm just thinking about his his character on um on what you call it Exiles on Conan. Actually, a bit scary. Daddy. Hi. Right, good eye. Why? Why is this? Why is this a thing? Uh, see what I see. Heavy small boot prints. <laughs> Look at this guy. Roman was scarier, pure psych of heaven. Exactly. Best part, I had the two audios pulled up and I just hear, I'm sorry from you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Big Ear, I think I just got you in trouble. And then there is an imposter in chat. It's just it, a pretend fan. I need to get someone to send this telegram for me. I don't know, I announced it earlier. I wasn't okay with this plan. Oh, okay. 
I see, I see. I hear, hear arrows. I think people are trying to kill the horse in the barn. Yep. That is definitely what they're trying to do. Oh yeah, I do hear. Oh, there's a there's, there's a horse. Hmm. There's a horse in the bag. It's, it's, it's the... fine. This is normal. Yeah, just have him go to the stables. He had to clip himself. <laughs> no one was no one was gonna partner with him at that. That's that's so even better. People. Can we leave, please? Oh, so Sorry, leave? this is not where I meant to be. You ain't coming. Yeah. Great if we could find someone else who is mildly associated with Mushrooms. orange. Let's Why try going in the next town. A strawberry. Ember, strange question. I know how you feel about the game, but if Cyberpunk RP ever becomes a thing, would you ever consider trying it? Um, maybe. <laughs> like, Conan was already a, a pretty big stretch for me. Um, I just know from what I read about things. Like, I don't know if they have a filter system. Like, Conan actually lets you not just see everybody naked. Um, <laughs> and I know from what I heard, from what I read, was that the uh, storyline seemed to have a very strong, like, sexual kind of component to it. There is a nudity, nudity filter in Cyberpunk. Okay, so with that in store yes maybe i i would consider trying it it's also all first person okay in that case i might have a harder time i don't like rping like you know i want to see my character i want to see my character and stuff i want to look at my character <laughs> play <laughs> That's one thing I really didn't like. I, I, I hate the camera views in Conan. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's a lot of mods for it that can make things really interesting, though. Maybe. I've never even attempted to play it, you know, so. Actually, let me see if my brother has it in his library real quick. Okay. 
Since he did that thing where I can access his Steam library. No, he does not have it. I don't think. Chernobyl Light Chivalry 2. Nope. Counter Strike Crab Game. Cause of Crisis. Cult of the Lamb. No, he does not have it. This would probably still be years out, mind you. Not even sure if they'll be able to make RP servers for it. I adore Cyberpunk 2077 and I hate first person games usually. Man, I wonder if I am emotionally matured enough to be able to play the first Half-Life game story mode. I know I just, I, I couldn't, I never made it past getting out of Black Mesa because uh, it was too scary. I think the only reason I made it through Half-Life 2's story mode was because I could God mode and just like, take off my headphones and run my character into the zombies when I knew there was going to be a jump scare instead of instead of actually taking the jump scare okay I would just literally switch my character to god mode and then have it charge into the area I knew there was definitely going to be a zombie jump scare and just that way I didn't have to be jump scared <laughs> that's how pathetic I am guys I love the world they've created though. So far there's not been anything quite like it. No open world at least. There's no one here, man. What's an Aussie greeting aside from good day? How do they say hello? Like trying to get someone's attention and saying hello. I don't know, but it will contain mate. <laughs> Planet. All right. How you going? <laughs> How you going? You wouldn't happen to be legitimate, would you? <laughs> How you going? Uh, my ask, are you legitimate? <laughs> I'm, I'm such a weirdo. I'm such a weirdo. Such a weirdo. My character's a weirdo, but I'm a weirdo. You got shot. Welcome to Trent, day one. Thank you so much for the follow. We're just waiting on this guy to turn around so we don't bother him mid telegram because that can be super annoying. He's also been standing there for a while, so he's probably thinking a lot about what he's writing or reading.
I'd also be worrying that you're about to rob him. Yeah, I mean, but that sounds like a personal problem on his part. <laughs> RP is amazing, by the way. The voices are so good. Oh, thank you so much, Trent. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, either of you legitimate? Legitimate, just in general. Yeah, I I, I I need help. I need someone to send a telegram for me. So, I need someone who is legitimate. I'm illegitimate. Oh, you mean literate? Yeah, uh, legitimate. <laughs> Understood. The um, joke is so good. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I can help you with that. Come with me. Thank you. I've got the um, I've I've got a telegram. It's got my. Uh, it was sent to me. It g it gave me a telegram of someone that I need to contact, and it's got my telegram on it too. Okay. So, Do you need me to read it and take a look at it? Well, yeah, so that you have the telegrams. Hey guy. So, the, the lady who sent this to me is sending me the telegram of the lady that I need to talk to, and she she sent it to me, so it should have my telegram on there, I think. It's, it's um, mm -hmm. KW, something like that. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, I see yours, and I see who sent it. Is everything okay, sir? Sorry, I'm just trying to get help um. with my telegrams. You, your voices are. I, I think I know this one somewhere as well. Can't quite put my finger on it, ignore me. Mm -hmm. Oh no, did I rob um... him? Okay, did anybody read this telegram to you? I uh, no. But Alright, let's step outside. That... Okay. Let's, let's step outside and read it to you. <laughs> Just I just uh... said that I. I the lady said that she was sending me I. The telegram of uh, Thorn, who I need to talk to. Okay. Um. Yeah. Which uh. You... Hi. All right. So, yeah. So the recipient is you, and that's KW six one seven. Is that correct? Does that sound I, right? I, I, I think so. I'm not very okay. good with um, the ear. That's okay. That's okay. And this was coming from Chief Hummingbird? Uh, I'm not sure if she gave me her name, but I, I guess so. Okay. Um, and then it gives me a... It's The title is Responding, or R-E, uh, Thorn. Which th uh, which thorn is this, by the way? Huh? The thorn is a senior Everyone. deputy thorn. Everyone. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't think so. I sure hope not. No, it's the last I'm sorry. met up in uh, Annisburg. I need to talk to her. Just trying to make more room. Literally no one. Told you. No one telegrammed me. I yeah, don't know she's, so so she's so hesitant. She's so hesitant. So good. It's good. Can't, sorry, what's just, the site? Uh, well, uh, um, well, just a quick question. Is that I'm Evangeline Thorn? I, I don't know. I need. I just need to talk to this lady. And she said that she knows her, so she's giving me her telegram so I can talk to her. Can okay. you just help me send a telegram to her, please? Sure. Oh, what, um, what's the telegram say? It says, IO207, please don't hurt her. Lady in the yellow, okay. can I talk to you for a second after you don't have? I... Uh, who are Not you? Not too busy. My name's Barry. Okay, I... 
Can you just give me a moment, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking a bit loud, just so you know. What he said? I said you were talking a bit loud. I'm talking normal, but... I don't know. Okay. Um, okay, um... Okay, yeah, I, says, I'm not claiming... I, I don't... Please, please don't hurt her, I and then dash don't... T-K-I-H-W. I don't want to hurt her, and I have no idea what what the dash thing means. So I can... Can, can you just help okay. me send a telegram to... Sure. I'll pay. I'll pay you too. I, you ain't gonna I, pay me. You're fine. I mean, I'll give you money for the telegram. I know they charge. Eh, that's fine. <laughs> Just send it like like you're me. You know, I, that, that's what most people do. I love how how hesitant and concerned she is. All right, so we're gonna send this to IO two hundred seven. And we're sending this from KW six one seven. You can say it's from Cricket. All right, from Cricket, and let's. See. Okay, and what do you, what would you like the title of the telegram to be? I uh, he hello. I mean, wait. He usually puts a title for the telegram. I don't. I don't um. Know usually, where. I usually I put it um, either uh, kind of a subject of what whatever it is you're going to be talking about. So if you're introducing yourself, hello is is a fine title. Okay. I will say if this is Evangeline Thorne, you might not want to meet her. No, I, I've met this lady before, and I, I definitely do want to meet her. Okay, if it's Evangeline Thorne, she's very illegal, and she's hurt a lot of folks. Like, a lot of folks, and tortured them, and whatnot, so... Okay. Be very careful. <laughs> okay, so what would you like the message to be? Oh, I don't know if you remember me. But I'm Cricket. We met in Ennisburg a few weeks ago. Ellie said that you were one of her friends. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, and what, what's it to you? <laughs> All right, I have. I don't know if you remember me, but I'm Cricket. We met a few weeks ago in Ennisburg. Yeah, I was with a, a few others, but I was with with. I think it was with Toby and Ellie. Okay. And Ellie said that you were one of her friends. Mm-hmm. I know that she's gone. I want to talk to you. Okay. Please telegram me back. All right. Anything else? No, you can just sign it with my name and make sure that my telegram is on there so she can she can uh, telegram me back. Mm -hmm. I have it. So it says. Uh, recipient is IO207, sender is cricket-kw617, title is hello, message is I don't know if you remember me, but I'm cricket, we met a few weeks ago in Annisburg, uh, I was with a few others, Toby and Ellie, Ellie said you were one of her friends, and now that she's gone, I want to talk to you, please telegram me back, cricket. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Alright, gonna send it. No, you wanna give me back that... This telegram. Uh, Absolutely. I'll uh, I'll pay you for sending it. Thank you. You ain't gotta.
Thank you kindly. No, thank you. Always need someone who's legit around, so. <laughs> Chris, stay safe, okay? Yeah. Oops, sorry. I'm going to talk to this bloke. Sorry, you. You're all right. I don't think I remember um, who you are, so you're going to have to remind me. I'm not on... I'm not 100% sure you you are who I think you are, so, uh, do you know Alvin Chester? Albi Toby? Ronnie? Yeah, I know who they are. You're part, you were a part of that gang, right? I guess you could say it that way. Why? I, um... I'm currently helping Alvin and Chester out as much as I can since uh, the issues that have happened. Uh, did they know that you're back around? Because uh, as far as the one I last spoke to them, it was just them two going around. I don't know. They telegrammed me and I had someone tell them, telegram them back and I, I don't know. Alright, so um, what, what's your name? Just uh, Cricket. My name's Barry. Cricket, that's it. Yeah, so... I, have you just come back around after a long while today? I can fill you in on what they're up to if you want. I got out of Sissica a few days ago. All so right, okay. a long time. All right, okay. So Alvin and Chester can are together in, now. Please? And they are um, starting a new thing. They call themselves the Chase Gang. I can, uh, is there anything you need, first of all? Do you need any weapons, food, drink, horse? Because I said I would help them out as much as I can and the previous members of their gang when I last spoke to them. So I'm here to offer any help you need right now. Uh, I've, I've got... I've got horses. Um, I've got a gun. I've got a Schofield. That's about it. Do you need me to send you any telegrams? Or read anything for you? No, that's what I was just having done up there on the porch, and that's what would take me so long. Yeah, okay, so... I was um, actually going to ask you, but you were standing at the uh, telegram so for so long, I figured that you were too busy. So I asked those uh, ladies outside. Yeah, yeah. Um, just in case you want to send anything that's not completely... You want everyone to know, just let me know, okay? Um... Alvin and Chester, I've seen them quite a lot in St. Denis lately, but I don't know where they get up to other than that. I've not heard from any of the other members of your outfit. So, um, were you good friends with, with Ali and Toby? Uh, Ali in the end, near the end, sorry. Um, I'm very close with Alvin, and I'm sort of close with Chester. Okay. With uh, Ali, um, I was uh, helping her evade the law for a while, taking her around, scouting towns and stuff. But um, like I said, my main issue here is that I promised Chester I'd help any of you out if I saw you. Got it. So is there anything I can immediately help you with? No, like, like I said, I've got a horse, I've got a Schofield. Alright. Do you want me to let them know that I've seen you? Do you want me to tell them anything? You can let them know. I don't know what I'm doing right now, though. I'm still figuring things out. Sure. Do you want to take down my telegram in case you need any help with anything? Uh... Maybe you just want to telegram me so that I've got it? Yeah, sure. Where's your telegram? Oh, uh, let's go into the telegram office and then I can let you know. Sure. Um. Got to email that for them. Everything all right? Okay, in here. Thanks. So, I think yeah. my telegram is K W. Uh, that's a, a six one seven. K 
KW six one seven, yeah. Yeah. And if you send yours, right. then I'll, at least I'll have it. Yeah, I'll send it now. Are you? What were you asking? I was just making sure everything was okay in here. Hi there. I think okay. she caught a glimpse of you that she didn't see previously, Cricket. While you were walking her. Huh? Yeah, just uh, look like you've been in a fist fight or two. What happens when you guard a sister? Okay. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't notice it previously. Gods beat your face in if they don't look the lo like the look of you. Yeah. I want to make people, like, have mixed feelings about Siska. <laughs> I'll stay safe. Right, I'm it. Hiya. Yeah. What a last name. Hey, interesting. <laughs> There's also uh, someone else you can look to for help if need be, but uh, I don't want to share the information right here. We can go to the side again if you want. I uh, okay. Sure, we've got butts around. If you want it, Cheetos. Did she just say, Do you want Cheetos? Now I'd like to see a whole gang that's illegitimate and just runs around asking people to read telegrams. <laughs> I love it for like the the chance of so, leaking uh, sensitive information. So in St. Denis, there's a place called the Lion's Den. Have you heard of it? No. It's opposite the market. It's a little fighting club there. It's run by Frank Gilbarney and uh, Virgil Fox. Uh, if you're ever in trouble or need somewhere to hide, they can help you out. They're, um, they knew Ali very well, to the extent that um, they put a memorial up for her in the uh, slums there. If you mention your relationship to her and say, I sent you, uh, you should be able to get any help you need, okay? If I'm not around. Okay. Alright, what are your plans from now? I don't know. I'm still figuring that out. Alright, I'll leave you to figure some things out in your head. Now, I wish you the best, then. Yeah, thanks. No problem. Yeah, interesting random encounter, huh? I hope she sent the telegram to Thor. Howdy, Doc. <laughs> she was so so hesitant. Oh, that's great. I love that she was so concerned. Well, that lasted long. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Limpany, and I need to get on to Saffron. We might consider though moving out to um Van Horn. Was he the guy y'all interrogated at the cabin in the swamps? You know what? I think he might have been. Maybe? No. I can't remember. It was a while ago. That sheriff station Van Horn is great for Cricket. Might get thrown out by Summer's gang, but Cricket wouldn't know that.
And after that encounter in the back of Lost, may not want to stay in Limpany for long. Yeah, no, I agree. That that did turn her off to Limpany, the fact that Thony Law just showed right up to it. Someone move stuff around? I feel like this was over here. Maybe not. It, it moved around. Hmm. Oh, we'll see. Okay. Flop over to Saffron. 